Welcome to the Physics Classroom's video tutorial on light and color. The topic of this video is polarization and Polaroid filters. Let's get started. Well, I have a four-star demonstration here that tells us an awful lot about electromagnetic waves. I have here in my hand a Polaroid filter. When I put the Polaroid filter in front of my face, one thing that you notice is that I'm not as bright as usual. Well, I mean, I don't mean like that. I mean, I'm just, I don't shine as brightly as usual. I have a second filter here, just like the first, and it does much the same thing. Now what I'm going to do is put the two of them together. I wonder what's going to happen. Well, let's find out. Here's the first filter, and here's the second filter. And what you notice is having one filter isn't a whole lot different than having two filters. It blocks the light, and I'm not as bright as usual, until I take that second filter and I rotate it, my hand from the 3 o'clock position to the 12 o'clock position. And now all of a sudden, I disappear. I'm going to rotate it back to 3 and then back to the 12 o'clock position. Somehow, having two filters blocks all of the light. I wonder why that happens. Well, we're going to find out. Now, in order to understand that demonstration, we have to learn some things about this electromagnetic transverse wave that we call light. Well, we can think of it as being one of two types. Either it can be unpolarized light or polarized light. When an unpolarized wave is coming at you, you would see it vibrating up and down and left and right and diagonally that way and diagonally that way. It's vibrating in a multitude of planes of vibration. To keep it simple, we'll just say half of the vibrations are up and down and half of the vibrations are left to right. Now, a polarized light wave is quite different than an unpolarized light wave. When you have a polarized light wave, you have light that's vibrating in a single plane. To keep it simple again, we could just say maybe it's vibrating up and down or maybe it's vibrating left to right, but only in one plane at a time, not in a multitude or two planes at a time. Light from a typical source comes to us as unpolarized light, light vibrating in a multitude of directions. So the question is, what does, an un, what does a Polaroid filter do to this unpolarized light? Well, when a Polaroid filter is made, it is made in such a way that the molecules are all stretched in one direction across the filter. Maybe they're all stretched horizontally, for instance. And then as unpolarized light approaches that filter, those molecules block or absorb or filter out the vibrations that are aligned in the same direction as the filter. You can see here on this diagram that we have light approaching the filter and the molecules are all, vi all aligned horizontally. And when they're like that, the horizontal vibrations get blocked and the vertical vibrations get through. So what a filter does is it blocks one half of the light. It blocks the half that has its vibrations parallel to the alignment of the molecules in the filter. So the molecule direction is abnormally important. It's what matters most. Because when you have light that's vibrating in a multitude of planes and it approaches a filter, and the molecules of the filter are aligned horizontally, then those horizontal molecules block horizontal vibrations. And what gets through are vertical vibrations. Half the light gets blocked, and then the light gets polarized, and polarized in a vertical direction. On the other hand, if the molecules are aligned up vertically, and you have unpolarized light approaching it, then it's the vertical vibrations that get blocked and the horizontal vibrations get through. So it's important to note that molecule, the direction of the molecules matter, and it's only the vibrations that are perpendicular to those molecules that pass through the filter. So now let's consider that situation in which we have two Polaroid filters, but their molecules are aligned parallel to each other. For instance, maybe their molecules are aligned horizontally. So here comes the unpolarized light vibrating up and down and left and right, just the simplified model. And it approaches that first filter with its horizontal molecules. Those molecules will absorb the horizontal vibrations. And what gets through the first filter are the vertical vibrations only. That's reduced the intensity in light by one half. Now those vertical vibrations are approaching the second filter. But the second filter's molecules are horizontal it can only absorb horizontal vibrations. So the polarized light passing through the first filter 
also passes through the second filter. Those vertical vibrations pass through. The net effect is that the first filter, filter number one, blocks one half of the light and polarizes it in the vertical direction. And filter number two has no effect whatsoever on the light. Half the light gets through vibrating vertically. Now let's consider unpolarized light approaching two filters, but this time the molecules of the filter are aligned perpendicular to one another. Like let's just say the first filter has horizontal molecules, the second filter vertical molecules. Well what happens as the light goes through the first filter is that once more half of the vibrations get blocked. Because the molecules are horizontal, horizontal vibrations get blocked, vertical vibrations get through. But as those vertical vibrations approach the second filter with its vertical molecules, those vertical vibrations get blocked. No light gets through. Absolute darkness. The net effect is that filter number one blocks half the light and polarizes it in the vertical direction, and filter number two blocks the remainder of the light. So now we understand the demo of why two filters can block all the light. They block all the light whenever their molecules are aligned perpendicular to one another. Because light is unpolarized approaching the first filter, half of the vibrations are going to get blocked by it. And the half that gets through are the half that are perpendicular to its molecules. But now as that light approaches the second filter, that second filter has the perfect molecular alignment to block the remaining light. No light gets through the second filter whatsoever. You know, it's early morning, and I'm out on the lake, and I'm fishing, and I'm trying to catch the big one. And something happens that's a little bit annoying. As I look down on the surface of the water, I see this annoying glare that prevents me from seeing all the fish underneath the water. And I know why it happens. Because when light reflects off of a non-metallic surface, it becomes partially polarized in a direction parallel to that surface. If the surface is horizontal, the polarization is in that horizontal plane. And that's what produces this annoying glare. And the trick is to put on a pair of these. And when you do, the molecules of these sunglasses, which are simply Polaroid filters, are aligned horizontally. And because they're aligned horizontally, it blocks the horizontal vibrations that are causing this glare. Now that's physics for better living. Oh, sorry, I was watching a 3D movie. These are 3D movie glasses. It's one of several varieties that you can use when you watch a 3D movie. How does it work? Well, it begins when the movie's shot, because the movie is taken by shooting the scenes with two cameras positioned about an eye's width apart. Those two movies are then brought to the theater and projected on the screen, but before they land on the screen, they pass through Polaroid filters that polarize each of the movie. One of the movies is made by light vibrating vertically, and maybe the other it's vibrating horizontally, or maybe diagonally like that, diagonally like that, but perpendicular to one another. Then you put these little babies on, and they have eyepieces that are aligned with the molecules one way and the opposite way, such that one eye sees one of the movies and the other eye sees the other movies, thus creating this perception of three dimensions. Now that's physics for better living. Hey, if you like this movie or find it helpful, why don't you pay us back by giving us a like, subscribing to our channel, or even leaving a comment in the, in the comment section below. And don't forget, below we always list in the description section links to several resources at our website that would be very helpful in improving your game. Good luck to you.